Happy Friday. Happy Good Friday. If you happen to be working today, I feel sorry for you. But not really, because I'm working today. So why shouldn't you be working today? Anyway, welcome to Rob Motive. I thought I'd get on here, do a little, uh, little fact-finding mission. You know, we've got the new... 2024 Toyota Tacoma behind me there. Yes, it is in the garage. It's all still nice and shiny, courtesy of the dealership. You know, I've been meaning to take it out and give it a little wash. That's right, wash. There is an R in wash, by the way, if you didn't know. But anyway, I've been thinking about taking it and uh, washing it, you know, myself, giving it a wax job, all that. But you know, it used to be thought that you shouldn't wax a new vehicle right away because you're supposed to let it kind of cure, let the paint cure. And as quick as Toyota's getting them out, I'm not sure it'd been quite four weeks or so. Four weeks is the number I've always heard. I don't know if that's true. You guys will have to let me know. Elizardo, hey Rob, thank God it's Friday. You got that. Well, it doesn't matter to me. Every day is... Uh, Depends on how you look at it. A Friday or a work day, it's really a work day for me every day because that's how it is when you do your own thing. You know what I'm saying? Christopher, sorry about your window chip damage. Found out 285-75-17 tire can fit without raising the truck. Um, that's a good question. I don't really know myself. Let's flip you around. We'll take a look since you brought it up. There uh, does seem to be a lot of room in that space there. Uh, I'm not sure if there's no room, you know, more room than, uh, than what we had before or not. Of course, the back, you know, it never matters. Uh, as long as it fits and it'll spin, you're good. Because last I checked, the back tires don't turn unless you're driving a Hummer or something. Don't they rotate? I think they do. But it looks to me like we've got a heck of a lot of room in there. And maybe, just maybe, one could go ahead and put uh, bigger tires on without having to do anything. I think on the last truck I had a 285, no I didn't, I had a 265 uh, 70 R16, I think is what I had on the last Tacoma, you know, the electric lime Tacoma. By the way, that truck is uh, still for sale. Uh, at the dealership down here in South Texas, they are asking a mint for that truck. A mint. Um, <clears throat> if they get it, more power to them. Uh, I don't know that they will, but then again, even if they get a little bit less, I got to point this fan at me. It is, what is the temperature here? It's 70. I think it's 78 degrees here or so, something like that. It is a bright, sunny day. Yeah, we might as well do a weather report. Take a look out there. Look at that. You guys can hear the birds out there doing their business all over my RAV4. Of course, there's a bird feeder there. No wonder, right? Anyway, look at that sky. Blue sky, puffy clouds, a good, uh, strong breeze if you're into breezes. We got uh, a lot of breezes. I actually like the wind. Um, as long as it's not associated with like a hurricane or, excuse me, something, uh, I kind of dig the wind. So I say bring it. Look at that. Isn't she beautiful back there? Look at that. Oh my God. That red color, the supersonic. By the way, I finally learned the color of the truck that I bought. It is supersonic red. Supersonic red, a vibrant red. I've got to say, it is uh, pretty freaking awesome. Anyway, um, let's check a couple comments. I don't like to leave anybody out. Uh, Bob Jones, love the new Tacoma Rob. Thank you, Bob. I appreciate that. RBTV. Oh, look at that. We've got one of the neighbors coming home out there. Look at that Jeep. Isn't that pretty? That is one pretty Jeep sitting out there. She's waving, there she goes. I don't know if she was expected to be on camera, but she's on camera. Anyway, uh, thanks Bob, I appreciate that. Uh, Rob, I know you had the 5.7 Tundra, do you miss it? Also, did you have the new Tundra? How did it compare? Uh, I've had all versions of the Tundra, actually. The four, what is it, four, six, five, seven, and then the uh, new, uh, twin turbo version 
Uh, they were all great. The 5.7 was, uh, it's tough. The 5.7 was probably my favorite. Although I'm not really dogging the new one, it's pretty good too. And I'm talking about how it felt, technology, power, all that stuff. The 5.7 just felt different. Still plenty powerful. And I had, by the way, let, let's do this now. I had a pedal commander uh, in the 5.7 made it even better. Um, and by the way, there is a sale going on right now. Discount code Rob Motive for 30 bucks off at pedalcommander.com. If you've still got the third generation Tacoma and you don't have a pedal commander, you are missing out, man. You need to check this out. 30 bucks off code Rob Motive one. I think I said it wrong. The discount code is Rob Motive one, the number one. Uh, at pedalcommander.com. Got to check this thing out. It is a must-have. Anyway, wasn't meaning to turn this into a, well, I kind of was. I mean, it didn't jump over here on the table by itself, but nonetheless, um, truly, it is uh, a must-have if you're still rocking the third gen, and I know a lot of people are, and man, people are not divided at all. Uh, they either like the 2024 or they don't like the 2024. The third gen uh, faithful. That's what we should call the third gen people who are not going to buy the fourth gen, the third gen faithful. Then there's nothing wrong with that. The third gen is an awesome truck. I mean, I had like 300 of them, or maybe seven or eight, and they were awesome. I love the third gen Tacoma. Just because I bought the fourth gen doesn't mean I hate the third gen. But is the fourth generation Tacoma better than the third gen? Now, let me preface this by stating I am not affiliated with Toyota. They're not paying me to say that their brand new truck here is somehow better. They're not sending me a check every month. I don't get free merch, money, anything. So it's my honest opinion. I have no skin on the game, and honestly, I am not a brand loyalist. I like the brand. I love the brand. But it doesn't mean I'm somehow sharing uh, my soul with them or something, you know? I tell it how it is because that's the only way to be. I don't owe them anything. Uh, matter of fact, they probably owe me because I give them a lot of publicity. And uh, I did pay for all of my trucks. You know, there's a theory going on out there, a conspiracy theory that Rob Motive, that's me, somehow gets free trucks that Toyota's giving, or a dealership or whatever, is giving me free trucks. And that's how I get so many. What? The, truck, the channel has, what, 41, 42, whatever, 1,000. I mean, it's not a gigantic channel. You know, maybe... If I had 50 million subscribers, I probably could get a free truck out of somebody. I don't know if it would be Toyota, but I'm sure there's a dealer or a, a, a manufacturer out there that would appease me with that. Nobody is handing me free trucks. These trucks are bought with my money. So let's just, let's clear that myth up right away, right? All right, I, I digress. Oleg says, hi, Tracy Curtis says, beautiful truck, Rob, congrats. Thank you very much, Oleg, I appreciate, or Tracy, I appreciate that. Arts, Crafts, Girl, Paola. Hey, I'm back. Well, where have you been? I've been on here for 11 minutes and five seconds. Welcome, I appreciate you being here. Tory Miners, that Jeep needs a 6.4 Hemi swap. Uh, yeah, I could dig that. That would be pretty cool. Arts and Crafts Girl, nice to see you all again. You too, I'm glad you came back. I assume you must have liked it. And speaking of liked it, if you just kick it in, there's 114 people sitting in here right now. Click that subscribe button. It helps me out, shows me a little bit of love. I would really appreciate it. And also, why haven't you hit the thumbs up button yet? I mean, don't you like it? Anyway, I would appreciate it if you click that that subscribe button, you know. Victor De La Rosa. Awesome truck, can't wait to get mine. Victor, when are you getting yours? Do you have one on order? And what are you guys seeing out there for lead times? Are they getting any better? I don't know, I waited a while. I was not actively looking. There's another myth on here that I somehow had this truck on order and it was coming all along and I've been lying to everybody. Well, that's a bunch of bull BS. 
Uh, I did not have it on order. As I stated in the videos, people love to create things. As I stated in the videos that I've made, if the right deal came along and I got good money for my other truck, I would trade. And that's what happened. That's why it took so long. I mean, think about it. You know, if I was a Jones and to get one right away, I would have had one in early January. It's March. So obviously I didn't jump on the new truck right away, right? Uh, let's see. Uh, Fred Norris, have you found many aftermarket parts yet? There are some. I have some. I've installed a couple things already. You know, I can't wait. Uh, there will be lots of mods on this truck. I've got a big one for me. Uh, waiting right now that I'm still trying to figure out exactly how I'm going to do it. There are mods out there. Lion, let's see, Lion Glitch 101, interesting name, uh, does that with the 2024 Lincoln Navigator. I have no idea what you're saying. Lion Glitch says, work with, uh, check it out, go to pedalcommander.com. Look up your vehicle. That's the best way to know. I don't know what every vehicle is that uh, it works with. Um, but pull it up. If it does, use discount code ROBMOTIVE1 and the number one for 30 bucks off. You can't beat that, man. Uh, Lion Glitch says, well, duh. Uh, Kepi Bear, I love that color. I love the color of your new fourth gen. We got to look at it again. Let's check it out. Here we go. Ready? Look at this truck. Isn't it freaking awesome? You know, the only shame about it right now is that I have stuff blocking it and you can't see the whole truck. Maybe if I turn it this way. There, is that better? Actually, when I do that on my screen, it says it's, a, it's an error because it's set up to go in vertical mode. I, I don't know why. Uh, but anyway, that's, that's the whole truck. That's what she looks like. We're going to see more of it, of course. Um... Arts and Crafts Girl, sorry, I was at Crunch. I was at Crunch. Is that like a physical fitness thing? You're doing crunches, lifting weights, getting swole. <laughs> That's what I need. Um, Arts and Crafts Girl, but I am here now, and I do appreciate that. I really do. I really do. Just giving you a hard time, man. Uh, Yamaru says, you sound like Phil Dunphy from Modern Family. I can't unhear it now. You know, I must sound like a lot of people. I have been compared to Tom Cruise when I let my hair grow. I don't see it. Vin Diesel when I don't have my hair longer. I don't see it. Uh, the guy that sells uh, uh, the stuff you stick to the side of a boat. You know, he chops a big hole in it, sticks this junk on the side of it. And now the boat floats. He's the inf infomercial guy. I don't see it. The little short squeaky guy from... Uh, Oh, that sludge movie or slime movie or uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. That guy, uh, and now you're telling me Phil Dumphy. Um, whatever. I, I guess I must resemble, or they resemble me, a lot of these celebrities, right? I, I don't know. Um, Arts and Crafts Girls waving. How do? Uh, Stephen S. says, have you ever been a motorcycle rider? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've had, uh, matter of fact, the first vehicle I ever drove was a motorcycle. I used to ride my Honda 100, you know, beep, my Honda 100 to driver's ed class. I always thought that was funny. I could drive on a motorcycle by myself with a helmet, no passengers, and not at night um, to take driver's ed. So yes, I have, a, I have a motorcycle license. I've had the Honda, Suzuki. My last one was a uh, Harley Fat Boy. Best bike I ever had. That thing had Screaming Eagle pipes on it or a pipe on it. And it was awesome. I love that bike. But when I moved down to South Texas where it's dangerous to drive, even if you're in a car, um, with the stones and, and, and the other drivers and stuff, I decided I wasn't going to ride one anymore. So... But I still like them. I mean, I'd, I'd love to have another, you know. Uh, Hokey Doc. Hokey Doc. One. Did you trade off your seat jackers off? Did you take off your seat jackers from the old truck? I did not. I left them on. Why? I should have. I mean, they were not given to me. I did buy them. I probably should have taken them off and then sold them. I mean, there's nothing wrong. They're just hunks of aluminum, right? 
Uh, but I left them on. You know, it comes to a point where after I took off as much as I did from that truck, uh, I just thought, God, you know, I am sick of taking junk off this truck. So I, I said, forget about it. Rolando says sport bar or no sport bar. There will be a sport bar. Now, I don't know if the sport bar from the last truck is going to look good or fit right on the truck. So we're going to have to see. Um, I may need a different one. I've kind of thought a little bit about putting a Tano on, but I always want a sport bar, so I always screw around with a, a Tano cover and I don't need it. So I think it's gonna be a sport bar this time, again, uh, because I like them. Arts and Crafts Girl says, yeah, it's a place in Europe, it's a food place. Oh, well, I never heard of it. I've never been to Europe. Whereabouts in Europe are you? Uh, Steve I says, congrats, Rob. New truck looks awesome. Love that red as well. Since Steve brought it up, we got to take another look. Look at this red truck. Sonic, super Sonic, almost did it. Super Sonic red. You know, it really, I think, kind of matches the toolbox in here. See that? Then take a look at this. I think really that's more like Craftsman's red or Craftsman. Craftsman. Why is that hard to say? Craftsman. Craftsman red. I don't know. Looks uh, pretty close to me. It's not exactly the same, but wow. That might be why I bought it. I bought it because it looks like a Craftsman toolbox. Who knows? But anyway, there's another, uh, another quick look. Um, just an awesome freaking truck. We're going to get to the topic here in a minute. Is it better than, uh, than the previous truck, the third gen? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you my opinion. In, uh, in just a second. Uh, let's see. Sam Witt says, stop that infernal snapping. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, Hokey Doc, your old seat jacker still on the old truck. Uh, I got that. I got that already. Christopher Arcamona. Christopher Arcamona. That's what I'm going with. No electricity in the bed or the 2020, uh, on the 2024 Tacoma no plug. Not in mine. That, I believe, is now a package option. Is that the snapping you're talking about? I do that a lot. I don't know. It must be habit. Uh, there is no plug in the back of my Tacoma. I think it's a package option that you can get in other versions. Might be standard in, in the off-road. I'm not sure, but there is not one in mine. I would guess that the wiring is probably there. A little sweet tea. We're going to be switching to the green nectar here pretty quick, but no, to answer your question. Uh, let's see. We Fergie says, yes, I am still here. We Fergie, who is a channel member, by the way, I should announce that. Well, we Fergie is one of the, the channel members of Rob Motive, so I appreciate that. And we Fergie does have a channel. If you, uh, Search Wee Fergie, you can check him out. He's been MIA for a little while. Personal stuff, I'm sure, I don't need to know, but he is gonna explain why, I believe, last I know, he had a Chevy Colorado, had a Tacoma before that, so check him out. And thanks for uh, joining the channel, by the way. I appreciate that, buddy. Uh, there's that snapping again. I don't know why that is. Desert 67, Rob, you have had both 4x4 and 4x2. Isn't the 4x2 more agile and lively to drive for everyday diving than the weighted feeling of the 4x4 gives off? I don't know. I never really noticed a big difference, to be honest with you. And I think with the new power plant that we have in the Tacoma, I think you would notice even less because it's got so much low-end torque that when you hit it, it goes. Uh, I never really noticed, to be honest with you. You would think so, but... Uh, Hokey Doc, uh, what is the shifting like on the 8-speed? It's awesome. Shifting? Shift? Does it shift? You can't feel any shifting. I mean, if you really get on it, I guess. And not that I've really stomped on it, because you know there is a break-in period uh, for the new Tacoma, as every other vehicle, a recommended break-in. So I haven't really gotten on it yet. We'll do that in videos once it's broken in because we have to do a time zero to 60 in this truck. It's gotta be way better than the third gen, that's for sure. A girl in her something, I don't know. I love live the Jeep grills. I love live the Jeep grills. I have no idea what that means, but thank you for being here. 
Uh, a girl in uh, love. I love live, love, I, I still don't get it. Arts and crafts girl. I don't know if I can say where in Europe, but I, uh, I am in, but I am in Europe, and where are you at? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't, I'm not asking for your physical address. Absolutely, you should not give that out. I'm just talking about, you know, what country are you in? You know, what, you know, but you don't have to give anything. I'm in deep South Texas. And that's USA, by the way, in case you didn't know. I don't know. I don't know how much people know from other countries about the United States. Probably sometimes as little as I know about other countries outside of the United States. I'm not afraid to admit it. I'm horrible at geography. Always was. Uh, there's that snap again. Alexia versus Cliff. Santa Cruz is the best city. Santa Cruz is the best city in the world. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, Shang Sun. I'm going with that. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing your name right, but I gave it a try. Says, hello. Hi. Says, how are you doing? I'm well. How are you? Snap again. Arts and crafts girl. And I am near Norway. Okay. There you go. Gives me an, a general idea. Again, I don't want to know exactly where you live and you should never post that on the web. Olivia Bird or Oliver Bird. Can we hear the car outside? Um... I'm not sure what you mean by that. And if you mean, can I start the, the Tacoma outside? Uh, I did do a POV video. Somebody requested it recently. It's going to be airing on the channel at some point here. Uh, but it's so windy outside right now that if I tried to give you anything, all you'd hear is buffeting on the camera microphone because it's pretty windy outside. I don't know if you guys can see the, the trees and stuff blowing around out there. You see that? Maybe you can hear the wind. I don't know. But it's so windy out there that, there's, that I really couldn't do that right now. So, no, I guess. Um, let's see. Um, AR2R put something down in, I guess, a foreign language. I don't know what that means. So, erring on the side of caution, I'm just going to remove it. It's an, I am an English speaker. So this is an English speaking chat, nothing against other languages. Wish I knew some, but I, I don't know what you're saying if you, if you speak in a foreign language and you know, some things on the internet aren't good. So it just gets removed. Uh, Alexa versus Cliff. What do you think of the Cybertruck zero to 60 in 2.6 seconds? Uh, I think it's nuts. I think it's fan fantastic, but uh, I don't like the Cybertruck at all. I think it's the, it, it now holds the title of the ugliest vehicle out there, in my opinion. That used to be a tie between the Honda Element and the Pontiac Aztec. I think it was Pontiac. Pontiac? I don't know, but the Aztec. Those used to be the ugliest. Not anymore. Now it's the Cybertruck. So, uh, Lemon Cartoon 40. Do you enjoy the television cartoon Tom and Jerry? No, I never did. It was never my thing. Um... Arts and Crafts Girl, LOL, we do know in Europe. Yeah, I, you guys are so much better than we are. I guess maybe we're arrogant and conceited over here. Um, well, I know we are, but uh, but I, I shouldn't say that just for Europe. I mean, I'm lucky if I know the geography of the whole United States. So uh, I, I, it took me a long time to finally uh, remember at least what part of the country states are in, right? I mean, I'm terrible at that. I always was. I think I failed geography in college. I don't know. It's one of those things, you know. Some people have an aptitude for things and some don't. For me, it's geography. I just, I just don't. I'm better than I used to be, I, I got to say. Much, much better. Um, let's see. Where was I here? Um, Tucker and I. Hi, Rob. Uh, later here. I'm from Newfoundland or Foundland. How do you pronounce that? Newfoundland or Newfoundland? Uh, Canada. How is the new 2024 hybrid on gas? Uh, I couldn't tell you. I don't have a hybrid. You can't get the 2024 hybrid yet. So Blue STI. The new Tacoma can fit up to 35s without any cutting. Uh, yeah. That's not true. Without any cutting, what uh, tire size do you think you'll go with? I have no idea. Uh, you cannot fit 35s on a Tacoma without cutting. Unless you drive in a straight line, the truck never articulates, and you never go over a bump. Uh, then you probably could, but no way do you fit 35s on a Tacoma. I know. I've been there. Um, 
Let's see, Oliver Bird says, bro, can we see the trucks inside? Um, yeah, I can show you the inside. Hold on a minute, I gotta move something out of the way here. Hold on, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm almost there, almost there. Okay, you want to see the inside of the truck. Let me, uh, let me flip you around, I'll show you the inside. Uh, let's take a look, uh, hopefully it's not too dark. I am in the garage, so, oops. So hopefully it's uh, bright enough, you guys can see in there. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my God. I might, I might need a minute alone. Hold on. I'm just kidding. Um, to collect myself, of course. Look at this. How gorgeous is this? No sunroof. No problem for me because I don't use them and I don't particularly like them. Uh, gorgeous on the inside. Let's take a look at the rear. Uh, still as tiny in the rear end uh, area. Uh, you can see there that gap. Uh, not a lot of room back here. It's the one area that Toyota still fails on the Tacoma, I think is that they didn't really give us any, any more room on the rear, and they should have, because that was one of the biggest complaints, as well as, uh, <clears throat> I guess, the headroom in the truck. So, yeah, whatever. I, don't, I, I selfishly never have anybody back there anyway, so it doesn't matter to me. Uh, Yusuf says, hi, Yusuf, how you doing? I used to work with a fellow named Yusuf when I uh, was a dishwasher at a convalescent center many moons ago. Uh, lemon cartoon, favorite vehicle. Uh, do you mean of what I have or do you mean of all time? My favorite vehicle of all time is the Chevy Chevelle. Love the Chevy Chevelle. Uh, Yusuf says, what is the 06 secondary air injection pump relay A? Um, I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Kev says, Breaking Bad Vehicle. Yes, I almost mentioned that. It crossed my mind. That was an excellent show, by the way. It crossed my mind uh, when I was bringing it up. But yeah, that's what uh, he drove uh, in Breaking Bad. It was the Aztec. What an ugly vehicle, man. But he put that thing through hell, though, in the show, didn't he? Um, a girl and her hoosk. What? I don't know. I'm curious what that means. What's a hoosk? if it's clean. If it's not clean, I don't want to know. I meant to say I love the Jeep grills in the background. I just can't type apparently. Oh, I got you. Yeah, check those out. A little bit of wall art up there. Um, there's a little bit more down there. Not a whole lot down there really, but yeah, those that's the Jeep grill graveyard right now. Grills that I've replaced with other things or customized or painted or whatever. The one that you see right there, that's from the current Jeep that I have. That is from our other Jeep. And that is from a uh, Jeep Gladiator 2020. Put a black grill on that one, so that became uh, wall art, I guess. As did the grill. Uh, this is a Frankenstein grill right here. This is the insert from the electric lime. It's lighted, uh, as you can see, both the name of the channel and above. Makes great backdrop, I think. And then the uh, Voodoo Blue Surround from the Voodoo Blue truck I had when I ordered a, uh, uh, a Pro Grill, they actually sent the Surround as well. So I didn't need, a, didn't need it for the truck. It went with the truck when I traded it. Um, Yusuf says, I'm getting this fault. I got a new secondary air pump, but still have this air. Uh, tried getting the relay, yet the problem is still there. Please guide. Yusuf, I am not, nor have I ever claimed to be a mechanic. Uh, I have no idea what your problem is. Uh, you would need to speak to someone much more qualified than am I. Um, Wood Duck. Woodock. Woodock. What's your name? Biff Woodock. I don't know. Um, well, time will tell on it if it's better than the third gen. That would figure into the reliability aspect, which will take some years. Yeah, nobody's going to know for a while. I love all the, the talking heads out there and everybody's guessing and dogging the new one. Oh, it's got a four-cylinder turbo. It's going to suck. It's not going to last long. It's not reliable. You can't tow with it. Nobody knows that. Nobody knows that because until the truck is out for years and we have some feedback on it, Nobody knows that. It's all just complaining for nothing. Nothing. Um, 
Arts and Crafts Girl says, what we are not the best at, the best you and everyone in country, wait a minute, what we are not that the best you and everyone in countries are good as well. You lost me on that one. I don't know what you're saying. Uh, boxed by Kobe, Dominic Toretto. Yeah, a lot of people keep saying that. I don't know why that is. I don't see it myself. I mean, you know, he's a little bit smaller than I am. So, you're right. Um, Blue STI says, it needs a lift, that's it. And people are fitting 35s on the 24 with a two to three inch lift. Um, yeah, be weary when people tell you that uh, you can fit these big tires. I mean, you can fit. You can fit probably a 35 on a third gen Tacoma until you turn or hit a bump or the truck articulates. I mean, to me, a tire does not, a tire fitting does not just mean you can bolt it on. It fits. What? It means that an all driving circumstances, it's not going to rub or hit anything. That is when a tire fits. So maybe it's a definition problem I have with people saying that. I don't know. But definitely 35s do not fit on a third gen. I couldn't tell you. I doubt it on a fourth gen, but I haven't really looked into that yet. Um, but they definitely don't fit on a third gen without any kind of cutting or manipulation of the truck. Uh, let's see. Chad Cronauts. Chad! You guys may notice Chad is in green. He is another channel member. Um, by the way, if you're interested in checking that out, it says join up there somewhere. Somewhere it says join. If you click that, you can see what that's all about. Um, it doesn't cost you anything to click on it, but it does cost a little bit to join. It helps out the channel. It allows me to buy new mods for that truck right there. Well, more than just the mirror. Let's take another look at it. Look at that truck. Do you guys like those wheels? Eh. Look at this thing. I mean, look at that. It's stunning. It's stunning. It should be at least rated R, I think. It's so freaking stunning. Look at that thing. Isn't that awesome? I know, I keep having to show it off because it looks so good. And people want to see it, I think. I hope. Um... Let's see, where was I? Uh, Chad. Chad Cronaut says, hey, Rob, what's up? Just taking a lunch break. Are you working today, Chad? You know, it's funny. We got mail today. I thought the U.S. Post Office was closed on Good Friday. I guess not. I got mail. You got mail. How many people remember that? I'm dating myself, I know. Um, let's see. Desert 67 says, Rob, the bridge collapse is the number one automobile parts port in the U.S. Seems the prices might rise again. So you got in before the window closes. Ah, what a, what a shame that was, man. Um, going to be some big time, uh, lawsuits and money paid out of that deal. Not to mention the loss of life and property, of course. Um, but you could be right. I don't know. Uh, Tebo, Tebu, Bateo Torre. Salute. Hello. Uh, let's see. We have a name that I couldn't hope to pronounce. Starts with an H, and I'm going to give you a thumbs up back. Thank you very much. By the way, if you're just coming on, I got to say it. Click that subscribe button. It helps me out. I would really appreciate it. I know I keep saying it, but I got to remind you guys because people forget. I don't know how many times I've watched channels, been just enthralled with the content. And then I left, and then I'm trying to find it again later. I can't freaking find it. Why? Because I didn't click the subscribe button, which you, can, you should do right now. It takes a split second. Yeah, I, I made that noise. Thank you. Um, let's see. Anthony Linden said, that isn't nice truck. How much do you want for it? I'm, wait, I'm waiting $100,000. 100, what? Uh, Kev, the roof room is so much better. I hit my head in the third gen. Yeah, they increased it by, I don't know. I'm sure there's a number out there. I'm going to guess by looking at the seam, it's about that much, uh, which is a lot when you put that on top of your head, especially when you already had that much. So now I've got that much. I know, pretty specific uh, measurements there, right? But they did. Uh, Alice. <coughs> Alice says hello. Alice, welcome to the live stream. I appreciate you being here. I hope you're having a fantastic Good Friday. 
Uh, Blue STI says, is your basic screen better than the previous Tacoma you had? Eh, nah, I would say it's equivalent. I wouldn't say it's better. I wouldn't say it's worse. I'd say it's equivalent. Um, but they did a, a heck of an improvement on the third gen with that screen uh, in 2023 or 2022. Whenever they changed it, I think it was 2023. And... Uh, nice crisp and clear and it's the same way in this truck so i'd say it's about the same they probably use the same uh screen honestly but who knows uh let's see uh the red hoods are you any relation to the red hats the red hood says if you can still remember what are your funniest childhood memories uh wow who knows i i couldn't even tell you i'd have to think about that for a while uh, must mean I had a sad childhood. I don't know. I didn't. I don't know. A girl in her hoosk. It's my Siberian Husky. I call her hoosk. Oh, thank God it's clean. Um, that's awesome. That's awesome. I was just curious to know. And you've got some, uh, what, clovers there. Uh, I'm guessing you must be Irish. Are you Irish? Uh, Mumphy, Mr. Mumphy. Mumphy says 35s will fit, but you will have minimal cutting on the body plastics. As for the cab mount, there should be a plate that can uh, that you can remove so you don't hit it. Um, yeah, and that's what I'm talking about. For me, something doesn't fit if I have to do anything. You know, it's like putting on a pair of jeans and saying, well, I had to unbutton the button and move it over a little bit. Now they fit. It fit anyway. It didn't fit. I had to alter it. That's the word, alter. That uh, plate you're talking about, uh, where is that sucker? It's right here. Um, and it is kind of a, it's, it's like a plastic on the outside or kind of like a, uh, almost feels like uh, suede or something. It's really kind of weird. And I believe there is a metal, isn't there a metal plate behind there? I know what you're talking about. I've seen, I've seen it removed. Uh, but yeah, I mean, yeah, it'll fit if you, if you do something, I don't want to do anything. I want to just go in and, uh, and get them, you know, Sergey Susloff, uh, best from Arizona. Sergey, thank you very much. Sergey has been with the channel for a long time. I remember you, bud. Uh, you've been around for a while and I really do appreciate that. Uh, Joey Gentile. I used to, uh, know of a store named Gentiles market. Uh, it was in uh, Ohio. Uh, can I interview you for my YouTube channel? Um, well, Joey, how many subscribers do you have? I got I got to look at that kind of thing because if I'm going to do something like that, I got to get some publicity, baby. So um, how many subscribers do you have? And I'll even throw you a bone. What's your YouTube channel? I usually don't allow that, but I'm intrigued by your question. Uh, Arts and Crafts Girl says, and happy Easter. Happy Easter to you as well. <coughs> uh, Better Buns says, I'm a slam a smart car. I'm going to slam a smart car. Um, more power to you. I would put the money towards something else, but you may love sport, uh, smart cars, so I say go for it. Why not? Tommy, bro, send me a car. Tommy, why, why would I do that? Why would I do that? Uh, apples to oranges. Paid my 2023 TRD Pro off. Going to keep it next 24 years. Uh, congratulations. You know, the best truck, I've said this many times on the channel, the best truck is always a paid off truck. That is for sure. We're going to get to the main topic here in a minute. Is the 2024 better than the previous version, the 2023? We are going to get to that, but you guys are just so full of, full of comments. I, I have to acknowledge them. I, I have to do it. Um, let's see. Tommy says, I've been riding a 10 speed to work. Well, that sucks. Uh, Joey says, can I interview you for YouTube channel? Okay, Joey, you've said that twice now. I need to know how many subscribers you have. Uh, Yeehaw Bob says, Bondo it on. Bondo it on. Yeah, right. Uh, Ricardo MX. Hey, Rob, Rick here. I can't wait for your new videos on the 24 Tacoma. Um, speaking of the 24 Tacoma. Wait a minute. Oh, I missed the button. Look at this thing. Look at it. It is a beast. Look, I can't even fit that in the whole vertical screen. Look at that. It is a beastly ride, let me tell you. Awesome, isn't it? Isn't it? We just have to check it out every once in a while just so, just so you know it's really here. You know the conspiracy theorists. Rob's trucks are free. He doesn't pay for them. 
Uh, Rob, uh, Rob doesn't really have the Tacoma. He's just talking about it. Well, you could see it sitting right there, right? Um, let's see. Where was I? Uh, hey, Rob, Rick here. Morning sunshine. Do you have Riz? I don't know what that means. I'm sure it's some kind of slang for something. Hopefully not, uh, not rude. If it is, I'll delete it. But uh, anyway, I don't know what that means. Arts and Crafts Girl, and I have to see y'all next time, uh, and I love the truck. Arts and Crafts Girl, thank you for being on. I appreciate that. Uh, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Victor De La Rosa, me. Justin Campbell. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got something we got to get rid of. You see people start putting political, you guys never saw the comment, but they start putting political crap on the channel. You know, it always amazes me. There's so many other channels out there that just love political garbage, but some of these people they can't stand, but to go to other channels that have nothing to do with politi politics or whatever and spew their crap. I mean, you know, come on, man. It's not what we're here for. Uh, Victor, Justin, do you know if you can put the hood lift cylinders on the new Tacoma? You're talking about the hood struts? I believe so. I mean, you could always drill holes and uh, rivet them in there just like the old ones anyway, it really, if you wanted to. So, yeah, I believe so. I haven't investigated that yet, but I will. El Zardo, you got mail. How about the noise of connecting to the web? That's it. You got it. I must be really behind in the comments, man. AOL, you got mail. Um, I love uh, Lamp says, hello, Nas. I don't know what that means. We Fergie, 107 watching and only 28 likes. We got 96 now. It dropped a little bit, but we're up to 32 likes now. So the likes are up, the views are down, but it goes up and down. That's how YouTube is. People, people come in, people go, people stay. By the way, if you're in here and you haven't subscribed yet, please click that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Helps me out, helps out the channel. Show me a little love. You know what I'm saying? Still need that Barry White music in the background. Uh, let's see. <coughs> I Love Lamp says, this new gin is horrible. We all have an opinion. Uh, Arts and Crafts Girl, peace out, brother. See you later. Thank you. Uh, L.M. Ribeiro, 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 hello. Hello, L.M., how are you? Welcome. Uh, Chad Cronaut says, happy Easter to you and your family, Rob. Chad, happy Easter to you and yours as well. Chad Cronaut, yes, I'm working today, but off next week. Well, awesome. Any big plans? Taking any vacations, anything like that? Uh, Muslim TV, Tajikistan. Um, is that where you're from? I don't know. Uh, Todd Malik, uh, g'day from Ottawa, Ontario. Still loving my 23 TRD Sport long bed. I must have missed the news. Did you buy the 2024 Tacoma? Cheers. Well, you know, I've been thinking about buying the 2024 Tacoma. I haven't really decided yet. Um, I think it would look really awesome in my garage. Uh, so I've been considering it. Um, you know, I, I think I might buy the 24, replace this electric lime green with it, with the supersonic red. Uh, but I haven't decided for sure, but <laughs> yes, yes, of course I did. See, you need to subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell. And then you will know when new things come. Um, let's see, uh, maybe Arctic says, hello, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Are you in the Arctic? Mumphy, are you worried about the grill plates from opening and closing or is that not on the sport model? It is on the sport model, uh, I checked. Am I worried about it? Not at all. Um, I heard it was a sensor problem. I've got warranty for three years, I mean, who cares? If they go bad, people love misery, there's that snapping again. Um, I, people love misery, so it'll make for a good, probably uh, well-watched uh, video. I, I hope it doesn't happen. I never look for problems, but as some YouTubers do, I think, you know, you keep hearing about all these negative things and problems with the 24, and I'm like, what do you people do? Bring these home and, I don't know, put a voltmeter meter on and unplug and plug in things, hoping that you'll ruin something. I mean, I, because it brings views. I get it. I don't do that. Nothing like a little sweet tea in the morning. Uh, let's see. Where was I? Uh, blah, 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 blah. 
blah, 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 blah. I'm trying to catch up. Uh, maybe Arctic says, hello, how are you doing? I'm doing well, how are you? Mumphy says, are you worried? I am not. Judge Dredd, Lumi, do you think P. Diddy is guilty? <coughs> I have no idea if he is or not. Uh, Badly Warren says, two-wheel drive is great. I only use four-wheel drive in a blizzard up here in Canada. By the Great Lakes. Otherwise, I wouldn't have it expensive to fix. Yeah, if you don't need it, why have it? I mean, look where I live. You guys can see, right? Does it look like I need a 4x4? Four four? Well, maybe it does. Uh, <laughs> that looks like a jungle out there. It's, it's really not. Um, I don't need it. That's why I don't have it. Maybe Arctic says it looks beautiful where you live. Thank you very much. It is a gorgeous day. You guys can hear the birds chirping, and it, it's wonderful. Uh, Times Yes says, time to good morning, uh, Mariki King. <coughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, Miss Lucky Ducky, go get braces. Uh, here, have a toothbrush. I don't know what that means. Uh, heavy pockets. When I drive by Jeeps, uh, now, you see, that's the kind of comment we don't need. Uh, I don't know why, again, not that kind of channel. You need a channel for 10-year-olds, I think. They would really appreciate that. You know, bathroom humor, I guess. I, I don't know. Uh, Moose Knuckle. I have a 00, a 2000, I guess, or maybe it's a 1900. Uh, Forerunner, and it's bad arse. Awesome, awesome. Paul Harris. Hello, Rob. Made it on today. Paul! How you doing? Good to see you here. Heavy pockets. I have a 98 Stingray, and when I drive it, uh, now, now you've done it twice, and so I'm going to have to put you in timeout. Uh, there you go. We'll put you in there for a little while. I don't know. Uh, Telemarco Tumulo. Tumula? Telemark Tumalo. Just joining in. Uh, beautiful Tacoma. Congrats on the new truck. Thank you very much. I appreciate that very much. Uh, Reed Speed Babid, ha hi, how you doing? Uh, Mr. Lucky Ducky, braces time, still have no idea what you're talking about. Are you getting braces? Is that uh, your plan today? Jenny Curtin says, hi, uh, Reed Speed, what is your favorite car? My favorite car is the Chevy Chevelle. Uh, what is your favorite color? Blue, inchworm. Uh, you should get a sports car instead. Get a GR8 or Miata. I've had Three or four Miatas. I wouldn't get another one down here. They're too small. Um, especially in South Texas where you're driving next to big trucks and semis and things all the time. Um, <clears throat> not looking for a car. Handy, what color is your Bugatti? Uh, my Bugatti is uh, Fuchsia. It's Fuchsia. Uh, Telemark Tumalo. Uh, do you think you will get the hybrid? Yes. Yes, I do. Um, let's see. Um... Jim, Jim, Jim says, G-Wagon or Range Rover? Probably Range Rover, I guess, but I'm not a fan of either one, honestly. Um, Murrin Brown, white bread on your head for a sub. Right, bread on your head for a sub. Nah, we don't, we don't really do uh, challenges on this channel. Um, it's not my thing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, David Lucas says, is your new truck loud? It is not loud. Uh, it is not quiet. I mean, it's not like you turn it on like some people were worried you wouldn't hear anything. But it is definitely not loud. Unless I crank up the radio. Then it does get a little loud. Um, let's see. Jose says, hey. Hasur says, hi. Jose says, dad. No, no. Don't have any children named Jose. Um, let's see. Well, my, no, never mind. Uh, Digital Bass says, why are they taking so long to announce Trail Hunter and TRD Pro prices? It's the game, man. It's the game. Uh, Oliver Bird, hello. Can we see the inside of the truck? I showed it a minute ago, and I'll show it again for you in just a second. Uh, let's see. Uh, Nicole says, is Caesar a good name for a kid? Um, I think it's a fantastic name. Uh, react Dev Kind, please say Dev. There you go. Uh, Hasur says, Salam Aleikum, Salam Aleikum, Salam Aleikum. That is hello, I think, isn't it? Or greetings, I don't know exactly what it means. Hasur says, hey, inchworm, being small is the fun part, I guess. Marcus, uh, I like your background. Well, thank you. It is a collection of, uh, Grills, it's like my grill graveyard, and then it has the lit Rob Motive channel name and some uh, Raptor style lights on there. 
See, even without the third gen, I can still do Raptor style lights on a Tacoma grill. Isn't that cool? By the way, if you're just kicking in, we got people filtering in and out of here constantly. Click that subscribe button. I really would appreciate it, man. Chad, thank you for being on, buddy. I really do appreciate you. And thanks for being a part of the channel, man. Uh, let's see. Uh, Daryl says, do you ever crank 90s? I don't know what that means. Oliver says, what is your favorite car, the Bugatti or the truck? The truck. I'd sell the Bugatti, buy a truck, and bank the rest. Uh, BMW over anything. Any other car is garbage. We all have an opinion. Uh, David Lucas, the red, uh, that red color is the prettiest Tacoma I have ever seen. It is striking. Very vibrant. Uh, a little soupy. Happy Easter to you as well. Uh, Carter Eason says, The Rock. I'm a fan. I like The Rock. I think he's awesome. Uh, Maybeck Arctic says, I love your background. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, Chad Knotts, again, thanks for being on, Chad. Daryl Baker, I think it means peace. Be with you, but I could be mistaken. There you go. Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm lucky to know my own language, let alone any other languages that pop up. But I do watch a few... Uh, Muslim folks uh, on the internet, uh, only because they're entertaining. One is a hot dog guy, and uh, one is a car salesman in uh, New Jersey. George, can't think of his last name, uh, but his name's George, and he had, buys a lot of high-end cars. I think he's Muslim. I'm pretty sure he is. But anyway, for what it's worth, I don't know. Um, let's see. What kind of truck do you have? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's just check it out. It's right here, sitting in the garage in front of me. This is the gorgeous supersonic red. You'll notice you cannot tell what kind of truck it is yet, right? Because I am a badge remover. Badge remover. Look here on the back of the bed. You guys are getting a little bit of a preview. Badge remover. Until you get to the back and then you can see it's the Toyota Tacoma awesome truck of course it is the uh redesigned 2024 love the truck it's freaking awesome uh let's see uh what is your favorite car again still the chevy chevelle little soupy says uh, or i read that uh life Le leaf ah uh, haha i love the response well thank you i tried to be creative you know uh, Oliver Burr, do you know how to do a backflip? Uh, backslip? Uh, I have slipped before uh, and fallen years ago. I was running from a bee about 90 mile an hour, literally backwards, tripped over my own feet, fell back and slammed the back of my head on the asphalt. I'm lucky I didn't kill myself, honestly. Wouldn't that be something? You're sitting up there or wherever you end up and, well, how'd you get here? Oh, I was running from a bee. What? Are you an idiot? Yeah, apparently so. Um, let's see, where was I? Oliver says, do you know how to do a backflip? Because because I because I messed up on that one. No, I do not. Uh, Marcus Laura says, that looks nice. Thank you. Face fam, do you have a VR? Uh, I'm assuming that's like virtual reality thing. I don't know, but no. We Fergie, badges, badges. We don't need no stinking badges. You're right, we don't. I don't like badges, they gotta go. Uh, Jordan Felicity, uh, let's see, Jordan, wait a minute, we have a super chat uh, from Paul, 25? My God, Paul, um, thank you. Uh, awesome. That's awesome, I really appreciate, 25, man. Uh, I'm gonna eat well today, buddy, thanks, Paul. Um, burger and fries time, I love the burgers and the fries. Uh, that's awesome. Thank you. I, I can't say it enough. You've been very supportive of me on the channel, and uh, I appreciate it. I really do. Thank you very much. Um, that's awesome. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Joran Felicity. To be honest, I knew it was a Tacoma as soon as you showed the side. Yeah, I mean, I know I wasn't really putting one over on anybody, right? DCYT says, hi. How you doing? Good to see you. Uh, maybe Arctic. Uh, do you like electric cars? In my opinion, I do. T I do really like them. Yeah, I like them. I don't have anything against electric cars. I don't have one because I don't believe um, infrastructurally. Is that really a word? Infrastructurally, um, 
we're set up for that. If I had to go cross country and all I had was an electric, an electric car, I wouldn't be very happy. That's why I don't have one. For kicking around town and stuff like that, not a problem. Um, I think hybrids is where we're at right now when it comes to any kind of electrification. Uh, maybe someday, I don't know. The, the theory is, is we're gonna leapfrog electric cars and go to uh, hydrogen or something. So I don't know. I know, I think it's, is it Honda or Toyota? I think it's Honda, maybe Toyota, I don't know, is working on hydrogen. Uh, so who knows? Uh, Delanor 84, just got my first taco, 2022 TRD Sport. So pumped to start making it my own. I bet there's nothing better. Uh, again, Paul, thank you very much, buddy. I appreciate that. Uh, Extation something, I love you. I love you too, thank you. Uh, Yahur, Yahar, will you be making it faster? I will be putting a... Pedal Commander on it. By the way, we got to do one more shout out to Pedal Commander. Um, you can get a discount on this right now, 30 bucks, if you use discount code RobMotive1 at pedalcommander.com. You got to have it if you've got a third gen Tacoma. You are missing out if you don't have Pedal Commander in your third gen. And speaking of uh, got to say things, click that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Helps me out. Show me some love. Um, let's see, Taco Driven, what's up, Rob? Time flies, fourth gin in the garage now. Absolutely, absolutely. Face fam, name a car for an edit. Uh, Toyota Tacoma, it's not a car. How about uh, 67 Ford Mustang? Um, let's see, where was I? Uh, I'm still being loved, I appreciate that. Oliver Bird says, have you into the doctors before? Have you went to the doctors before? Um, I don't know anybody who hasn't gone to the doctors before. I don't know what you're getting at there, but okay. Face fam, uh, name a car for edit. I did. Ethan Evans, most reliable Tacoma YouTube source. Most reliable Tacoma YouTube, YouTube. Well, you're on it. What are you talking about? There is no more reliable source than Rob Motive when you're looking for anything about the Toyota Tacoma. Are you crazy? You're here, you have found it, the Mecca, and that's why you need to click that subscribe button. It's either up there or down there or over there or maybe over there. I'm not sure where it is on your screen, but regardless, you need to click that subscribe button right now because you have found the most reliable, informative, and in my own opinion, entertaining Toyota Tacoma channel. Please, uh, please do click that subscribe button. I would appreciate it. Uh, let's see, where was I? Uh, Justin Campbell says, I bought my 2017 TRD Sport brand new, 60,000 miles so far, and love it. Awesome. Ethan says, I know, I said it was you. Oh, I'm so stupid. Uh, I get it, and thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, Baby Arctic says, you're funny. I subbed to you. Thank you. I appreciate that, man. Or woman. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I'm all choked up now. Thank you for the sub. Telemark uh, Tumalo. Rob, thanks for keeping your channel positive. We need more of this. I will always have a positive channel. You know, oh, there is so much negative crap in the world right now, and, and you can see it in some of the comments and things that I have to block and remove and put people in timeout because they just can't help themselves. Not here. Um, let's see. Maybe Arctic, he, she, he, she, they're giving some... Hurts. I appreciate that. Oliver Bird says, I done it because you are the best streamer. I appreciate that as well. Thank you. Taco Durbin says, are you going to lift this chakra? Yes. Yes. Um, it's not going to be any more than probably three inches. Um, Got to figure out what the best lift is for it. I'm not exactly sure yet, but yeah, I will be lifting it at some point. I don't know when. It's not going to be something I'm going to do right away. I want to experience this truck uh, more before I do that, so, you know. Uh, let's see, Taco Driven says, can't wait to see what you do to this truck. Me either, thank you. Uh, maybe Arctic says, I'm a man, FYI. Sorry, no no, no offense or anything. Um, I just can't tell by your name. Maybe Arctic is, is gender neutral. Um, but it's good to know, it's good to know. Uh, I don't know why. George Andrews says, did your 2023 sell yet? Not last I looked. They want a huge amount for that truck. Uh, I will tell you, it is the most expensive Toyota Tacoma they have for sale. And they have 45 of them last I looked. Um, 
I don't know. I mean, if they can get it, more power to them. It is a business. It's not a charity. So why not? Zachary Parker says hi. Hi, Zach. Uh, Christopher, me, Rob, what did you get for the window chip? It's just one of those, I think it was a Rain-X uh, window chip repair kit from Walmart. I picked it up at Walmart. Seemed to work. PRR, Sean, do you notice much turbo lag? No. No, I don't. Uh, not at all. Uh, Cadillac fan says hello. Oliver Bird says, did you forget to and the inside of the truck? Um, I'll show you real quick and then we're going to have to call it a day um, because I've been on here over an hour and I'm sure you guys are getting sick of looking at me. So here's the inside. I will show you again. There's what she looks like. Notice I still have the tag up here for the uh, camera. I need to get into the camera. I haven't yet. That's a dash cam. Um, there's what she looks like over on the sides. I like trucks that have big grills. Awesome. Take a quick look in the back. There's the door panel, by the way, if you want to see that. Take a quick look in the back here. There's the back. Not a lot of room back here. Toyota has stood firm uh, in keeping not a lot of room in the back of their truck. Um, let me flip you back around here. Uh, Lord Gary Dono, filmmaker. Hello, buddy. How's your day going? It's going pretty good. It's going pretty good. So I should, I should address the title. I know I've been on here a freaking hour and I haven't. Is the third gen better than the fourth gen? Is the fourth gen better than the third gen? Um, absolutely, in every way, in every way so far. Speed, acceleration, comfort, ride quality, technology. Um, the only, there is one area I would say it's probably equal and that is in appearance. I really do love the look of the third gen too. So I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that the uh, fourth gen is somehow way, way better looking than the third gen. Uh, it's not. They're just, uh, they're equivalently attractive uh, in my opinion. Uh, but overall, yeah, I would say the third gen is, or the fourth gen rather, is leaps and bounds ahead of the fourth gen, which is the way it should be, right? I mean, you know? Uh, Oliver Bird says, wow, that's a good, that's a good intelligent wow. I don't know what that means. Cadillac Van says, the new Silverado, Tundras, Titans, and Rams have big grills. I like them all. Awesome. I am not a huge, huge grill fan. Shane Richards says, is that a Tacoma? It is. The new 2024 Tacoma. Walter, uh, why do you care so much about Toyota? I just like their trucks. I don't really care. I mean, it's not like I'm emotionally attached. I'm not an employee of Toyota. I like their products. What can I say? Why do you like or care about, in your words, what you like? I don't know. Paul Harris says, have a good day, Rob. Paul, you too. And thanks again for the, for the, the super chat. Um, I will be using it for that burger and fries, buddy. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Mo AI. Uh, Caddy Fun. I agree. Just don't look at the current BMW girls. PRR Sean. Toyota makes great vehicles. They absolutely do. Anyway, we've been on here over an hour, longer than I wanted to be on here. So I'm going to go ahead and bid you all adieu. Uh, don't forget on the way out, if you haven't, please click that subscribe button. Really helps out the channel. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget about a quick thumbs up on the way out as well. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you next time. I'm on Sunday, I think. Bye.